Also, I'll provide you with a piece of land so you can cultivate this farming season. Me? A piece of land? Ah! It will. May no evil ever come your way. No evil Amen. come your way. It's alright. It's okay. Amen. Thank you very much, Igwe. Thank you, Lola. Don't, don't cry anymore. No, I won't. Uh, I don't won't. cry anymore. I won't. <laughs> Why is Igbo being a puffed up? He always liked playing the good man. You know what? He wants to be seen as the savior of the people. I know his type. He wants to be seen as the best among the people. He goes about preaching unity and love. Who does he think he is, Seth? I, I hate him with passion. I suggest we teach him a lesson. What type of lesson are you suggesting? You know, he's always patrolling around the village with one guy. So I suggest we go and head out and beat him up. You mean we beat up the Igwe? Yes. That's an abomination. I have never heard that a people beat up the Igwe. No, it's possible. You know, he's always preaching forgiveness. So even if you beat him up, he'll still forgive us. In that case, you're right. Let's go find him where he is patrolling the village. Let's go, let's go. Initially, when the whole case happened, I was scared. <laughs> now at the point, I said to myself, Igwe. Ichi. Igwe, may you live forever, Igwe. Ichi, how are you today? Igwe. I know there's no doctor. Igwe, she's not getting better. She's not getting better at all. But the last time I came to your house, she, she was feeling better. Igwe, the sickness came back. I had to take her to the hospital. And I took her to lab and the result is out. They say it's uh, acute malaria. Acute malaria? Yes, Igwe. She should be treated immediately. Um, Igwe. Ichi, what is wrong? Igwe, the, the drugs they prescribed, uh, Igwe, there is no money to purchase them. There's no money. Uh, Igwe, Igwe, you've done so much for my family, eh? Uh, I mean, you shouldn't bother yourself. You've done so Each year, how much? You see, a leader should never be tired of providing services to his people. Mm -hmm. How much? Uh, Igwe, it's 3,500. Only? Yes, Igwe. That's all? Yes, Igwe. Give him 3,500. Give him. Yes, I love you. You go where you live forever. <laughs> you go where you live forever. It's alright. All right. Thank you. And make sure they treat her very well. Whatever happens, you let me know. Hmm? Him feeling like the savior of the whole world. Let's look for a weapon to teach him the lesson of his life. Let's be fast, let's be fast about it. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, I feel it. I feel it in my body. Hey, stop there. Who are you? Citizens of the land. And what are you doing here? To see the Igwe? Oh, oh, oh. Right. All right. Let them come. Your Highness, their movement is so suspicious. What are they doing with loss of wood? I do not believe my people will harm me. They are my people, I think. Hey, stop! Stop! I just stop! What are you doing? Stop! God! Good citizens! Why do you want to hurt your Igwe? We hate his gods! You hate his gods? Yes! Why? Because he's a good man? Because he always plays the good man! We hate him. Why must he be the most loved one in the community? Why not us? He's not a man like us. You see, I used to be a man like both of you. A man without hope. If we hold that your sweet tongue. It's not sweet tongue. You need to know where I am coming from. And where are you coming from? You will understand better if I tell you the whole story from the beginning. Tell us.
Let's rest here for a while. We are far from the clan now. Tomorrow morning we'll continue. Mama, there's blood on your clothes. Blood? Oh, it's a small injury. Don't worry, tomorrow it will go off, okay? Mama, okay? Mm -hmm. Why are you not doing? Hey, come, come to me. Oh, Mama, uh, where are we running to? I will get there. I will tell you. Okay? Yes, Mama. Okay, come to me. Come to Mama. Ah, okay, sit. Sit for me. Of your brother, Ovina, and your sister, Akudu. You are the eldest. One day, your father will come looking for you. And Mama. I pray you're still alive. Mama, why are you talking like this now? I don't think I have time to stay with you again. I live above your age, mate. Okay, go. Give me your You shall be blessed with your endeavor. You shall be blessed. Your good seed shall reward you. I made this bridge for you. Okay? I will never forget you. Make sure you keep it, okay? Make sure you keep it, okay? I can never be very safe. Okay? But the thing you should do for me will be the price that I will Mama! 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 Where is he? He's not coming back. Let us go look for him. I just wish my baby is still alive. I wish too. I don't know. are we going to sleep this night? It's getting late. I hope Anima won't eat up all. No, you know God is taking care of us. Mama, because daddy got a name, Nana, Mama, because daddy, oh, take Mama, 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 Mama,
My grandmother once told me that people are born with different gifts. We should kill them beyond others. Hell, wait. Don't tell me you're trying to talk about Akudo here. If not Akudo, who else? Who else in this village, in this clan of us, moves her body the way she does it when it comes to dancing? Hey. Nya, 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 nya. I want you to do something for me. What do you want me to do? What? Keep your gallon. Just keep your gallon first. Mm -hmm. Let me see your palm. Your fingers. Mm -hmm. Check them very well and tell me if they are equal. They are not. Are they equal? They are not. They are not equal. So is the gift. We all aren't bestowed with the same gift and that makes us different. I just don't see the reason why you won't understand this simple thing. Let's go. Hmm. By the way, I haven't seen Nkem since. It's true, me too. Is she alright? again. Ego, I am worried. Worried about what the dreams? Hey, hey, the dream. Yeah. Oh, I've told you not to worry, not to bother yourself. Remember what Uncle Dike said? That every dream we have is a sign that something is about to happen. So just relax and think about it. Just don't bother. Just think. That is the more reason I'm worried. Because this dream is not a pleasant one. And it's coming as if it's, it's trying to pass a message to me. Just relax. Don't worry. If you're calm, then you can you can think. Let's go. Don't work. Everything will be all right. So, so, you know, dreams don't bother me like this, but this one is bothering me too much. Let's go. You bother too much. There's nothing happening to you. I will tell you the story of this girl. This clan used to be a bush before a hunter and his wife ran here to take refuge since they were pursued by their enemies who wanted to kill them. After some time, when the hunter was convinced that his enemies, his pursuers were no longer in search of them, he built a hut where he and his wife could lay their heads. Each night, before they went to sleep, the hunter's wife would dance around mm. to entertain the husband. <laughs> the husband went out in the morning. When returning, meet bees with small, small sticks for the wife. The dancing and the bees this clan is known for originated from there. Uh, mm? Okay. <laughs> I will stop my story here. When next we come together, I will start from where. Mama, please don't stop now. Please continue. <laughs> Mama, don't mind that. It's because she had beats. That's why mm. she's, she wants you to continue. Mm. Here you go. Mm -hmm. I will continue. Provided you will do all works of mine tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> you see? So it's either yeah. do what she wants or you leave her to go and sleep yeah. so that she can have strength to tell us the, 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 the concluding part of the story. Yeah, not that day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> not good. You're not happy. Ah. <laughs> Elders of our clan, I welcome you. Yeah. I'm glad you are visiting the palace this morning wearing brilliant faces, which is indicative that families are very okay at home. Um, some of you here who are historians, 
will remember with nostalgia that yesterday was the end of my sanction. In other words, I am now free to go about searching for my, the whereabouts of my family, my wife and my children inclusive. But I must admit that 15 years without a family was not the best. The most difficult experience anybody could have. Apart from the fact that along the line, although she, they were, the lady was seen outside of this house, came in to keep me company. And she now possesses the crown of the queen. I'm a man that believes so much in the saying that a leader must lead by example. Yes. Therefore, for me to allow myself to be lured by a woman, I think I deserve to be punished. Otherwise, the gods of this land will visit me heavily with repercussion. I have a new beginning now. Believing that the past has, the old, the, the past has gone. So now that I have a new beginning, I have to start afresh to look for the whereabouts of my family. And the onus is now on you, people, to assist in no small way in helping me to locate the whereabouts of my family. And whoever amongst you that succeeds in doing that, can assure you that person will not go unwanted. So thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Miss Bigmaker. Very soon, we are going to start Big Makers Competition, where you will perform and be applauded as they do to your sister in the dancing competition. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry. Please, we see you're very, very busy now. But you have to forgive us. It's a kudo we came to see, but we see she's not at home. I know. I take it that you're not here to invite me for your dance rehearsal. Uh -uh. I will let her know when she comes back. She will soon join you. Hey, Gunne, please don't mind this Oba Siri now. Eh? Since Akudo is now around, please tell her to come and meet us at the village square when she comes back. You know, go? No problem. I'll tell her when she comes back from the market to my mother. Abu Godi ni kwa hindo Oba Siri. It doesn't change the fact that she's a big maker. No, ho, Amazon. Don't be carried away. Ah, you just said what I wanted to say right now. For this bit, it was just leave it. Thank Aww. you. Bye bye. Don't forget to I will not. Please don't, don't forget. I yes. will not. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Mm. Your Highness, I know you've been looking forward to this day. The day you will be at liberty to take back your wife and children into the palace. I also know how you feel right now, not knowing where to start the search since they no longer reside here. Only the two them away because she couldn't stand the sight of seeing both of us together. But my promise to you is this I will do everything within my reach to help you find them. Okay. Oluchi, you are attracted to me because of the way you talk, honestly. In fact, you have the heart of a lion that whenever you talk, you, you, you rekindle my spirit that hitherto was weak. And I must appreciate you for being there for me all these years, the turbulent years. Thank you very much. Regardless of the fact that I didn't really show you much love. Sometimes I regret being part of this palace. But when I remember that all have been predestined before that, I, I see no reason why I keep doing so. My husband, I'm not giving you much joy as your previous one. And you, 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 oh, come on, my dear. Oluchi, come, come. You see, you are beginning to take this matter too far. Hmm? I, I love you. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I, I love you and I want you to realize it, okay? Mm -hmm. I love you, my dear. Yes, I'm surprised to hear that you want to meet me here. Yes, I know you will. I, but it's nothing to worry about. I came to let you know of my contributions towards bringing back your home. Oh, then go ahead. You have my full attention. Um, I spoke to some women of this clan. Yes. Concerning the disappearance of all lady, and I've sent the guard to someone all the women of this clan to this palace today mm -hmm. but what these few women told me wasn't impressed honestly i'm beginning to get fed up tired of this whole search don't get tired you go huh? if we find oledo we have found the children how optimistic are you <sighs> you talk as if you're not her husband Huh? Do you think she will allow the children to go out of her sight? No. Let's just be patient. Hmm? I think here is safe enough to say whatever we have to say. Let me tell you, if all the fingers pointing at Akudu are summed up, I'm sure they are not up to one of my finger. Because people portray her the dancing queen. That's what seems to be annoying you the most. Any more word more than that could have been used. Since you bear this level of grudge against her, how come you've been quiet all this while? I can describe my movements as that of a snake. Mm. Although it is too slow, was full of calculative steps. <laughs> I trust you, Chica. See, if three of us we put our heads together, I teach that big for nothing girl, Akudo, a big lesson she will never forget in a hurry. Me, I'll be happy. I support you, Chine. Let us show her that we can do some other thing other than dancing. Okay, so what is the conclusion now? A lesson should be taught to that our most valuable dancer, Akudo. Mama, ah, there you go. Mm -hmm. See, I sold everything. Nothing hey. left. All of them. Hey, ego. <laughs> hey, you did great, my daughter. Thank you, Mama. Hey. Very soon, you make our people to put interest in bees, as already have in dancing. <laughs> hmm. Thank you, Mama. Is oh. Akudo in? Mm -mm. She went to see Norma. Okay, do you? Has it been long? No. The way you're asking. All is well. Huh? All is well. <laughs> well laughing. I'm, I'm just laughing. I, it's my own share of the food inside the pot. If I tell you that I couldn't eat it, what will happen? Uh, Mama, please don't start. Please. The market is far. I <laughs> tried. I will the... just kill her. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, she is in the pot. Let me not remind you to wash her pot. Oh, wash it. Thank you. There you go. Do you know, I've come to the conclusion that Mama is the only person that can solve these problems you 
encounter all these disturbing dreams you get. Because if anything arises, she will stand for you. Hmm. Why are you laughing? No, 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 no. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing because we just were almost thinking the same thing. We hit the same target. We hit the same target and you're laughing. <laughs> no, no, no. See, um, I'm just smiling because I went to my friend's place and I told them about the dream. And they just came up with the same thing that you just said. That mama is the only person I can go to that can solve this problem for me. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So we're all thinking alike. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now you're laughing. You're laughing. I... Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry for teasing you. But next time, just allow me to land. That is okay. Ah, I've heard. So when okay. are you planning to tell me? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe after the meal this night, I'll tell her. After meal? Mm -hmm. Have you washed after the vegetables? The... Mm -hmm. I'm doing my beads though. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. better down. your vegetables. You heard us. We have a bunch of disappointments about us. Yes, I don't mind your looks. To me, they're deceitful. And they won't stop me from saying what I want to say. You were asked, you were saddled with little responsibility, and you fell like a pack of cards. You're saying that no, everybody's business, nobody's business is beginning to make very serious meaning to me. Yes, because uh, if somebody's corpse is being conveyed to the other person standing on the, on, on, on the roadside, looks like a log of wood. Not until the same death knocks on the sentinel of his doors that the impact of death will become, become very obvious. And that's of this clan. Our ancestors were better than all of you, according to my dead father. And I'm here to give you two maximum days of grace. Just two days before I show you the other side of the coin. Remember that my power being restored as king. Have been cleansed of my abominable act. I can now do and undo. Before warned, before armed. Oluchi, whatever you may, might have said in that table, in the name of food, definitely is not for me. I don't think you have been sensible to persuade me to that table or to that dining, knowing my state of mind. I'm only trying to give you your due respect. Huh? A hungry man is an angry man. How dare you use such inflammatory statements on me? How dare you? All I'm saying is that you, you need to take something, at least water. For the past three days now, nothing has gone down your throat. Huh? I feel for you, Ingwe. If there is no strength to leave the food into your mouth, I, I will feed you myself. I can feed you. Just take something, please. Eat. Oluchi. 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 How many times did I call that name? Three times. Now listen. When a man's house is on fire, it does not chase shadows. Therefore be patient to wait to know if a spare that is aimed at the forehead will hit you before you, before dodging, amount to shell foolishness. Even in this case, there is no fire. And you're not being foolish, waiting to know if your children will come back with their mother. What is it then? You're a man of dignity. And the gods of our land will definitely bring them back when it is time. You just take something, please. Eat. No, my dear, eat. Please. Well, elders of uh, clan, I really apologize for keeping you waiting indefinitely. Uh, please bear with me. Um, by the way, I don't mean it, uh, you don't have any apology to tender to us. You see, we should be the ones to apologize uh, to you. Yeah, you are right. For disturbing your afternoon resting. You will. Please accept our apology. 
for disturbing you. Please. As a matter of fact, two things uh, are in my mind that prompted this uh, meeting. But the very one that is very important is what I can, uh, I said, the problem. You see, Igwe, you, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, at least we are here with uh, a good news. Yes, Igwe. From the looks on our face, you find out that it's truly a good news. Yes. We've been able to find a lead to Oledo, your former wife and her children. <laughs> That's good news indeed. I'm excited. So, how strong is this lead of yours? Um, Igwe, the woman that helped her escape was last seen in the neighboring clan. Before he descended the Temple Mountain. Oh, 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 just close by here. Just near by here. <laughs> so, the, the, the job is half, half done. Mm -hmm. What you do is, uh, anything that is humanly possible, try and locate her, track her down. So she tells you exactly what he took on in her activity. Is a promise you will? You promise? Yes. We will do everything possible to bring back your family to you, you will. Yes, yes, yes. That will be great indeed. The plan worked out. Now I know the people that want to teach you a lesson. So what, what are you going to do so that we'll stop them? You know me, I'm even thinking of just stopping that dance as one of them requested. Let me Why just... would you do that? For oh, what? What do you want me to do again? <laughs> You cannot do that. You can't stop what gives you joy because of some irresponsible age mate of yours. And I don't want to get hurt either. Nobody's going to hurt you. You're not going to get hurt. They just want to instill fear in you, which they have done, so that you can stop dancing. Okay, so what do you suggest I do? Now you're talking. Just continue. Relax, eh? Calm down. I will have my eyes on them. But before I do that, you promise me one thing. Hey, I'll promise you anything. Anything. Don't tell Mama anything. Eh. Okay. Okay. I'm there. What are you people doing here by this time of the night? If my parents find us here, what do I tell them? Cease your fears. We only came to let you know of our plans tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day. Her kudu, her friends, and other dancers will be having their usual dance rehearsals at the square. The fool will be deaf to adhere to our warnings, but we'll be pleading tomorrow for us to allow her go by the time we finish dealing with her. We came to let you know. Since you are not there with us today, are you still with us? I'm still with you people. My parents did not allow me to go out today. Besides, there were much things I helped them to do. You know what? Let's see at a normal place during the day tomorrow. We have to stay down and wait for them as they are coming home from rehearsal. Okay? I noticed something which really happens at the rehearsal today. Hako wasn't even herself. She was not excited at all. Mm. And she wasn't she didn't even laugh, even at the funniest performance of Adugo. That's true. Ujungwa, I don't know that you are disobservant. Hako, what is your problem? Tell us, let's help you. What is it? What is hitting you up? Huh? Do you remember that dream I told you about? Mm -hmm. You see, that dream is turning into reality, and I'm bothered. Mm -hmm. It's bothering me, honestly. Huh. Ako, do you let her tell your mother has advised you? Huh. Who? I didn't tell her. I tried, Sha, but each time I go there, I just don't know what to say. Because I, I, don't, want to, I don't want her to start seeing me like a stupid person. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 
Don't run, don't run. I, I will not hurt you. Right? I'm harmless. Come. Please, don't let them hurt me. They want to beat me. What? What are you doing here? They chased me into the bush. They? Who? Some girls. Are you aware of where you're in? Huh? Obviously you're not. Look, this place is dangerous. This is the home of snakes. I mean, big snakes, dangerous snakes and its likes. In fact, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you're still alive. You know, my... My guru used to say that anything you know nothing about will never come your way, especially the bad ones. Oh. I see you're in good terms with the gods of your clan. Come. Come on, I'll help you. Come. Look at me. I'm harmless. Okay? Give me a Careful, careful, careful. Um, this is the way to my house. You want to go to your house? I want to go home. Okay. Thank you. Careful, careful, careful. To the bush of snakes. <laughs> okay, now I know where point nuts. Say she has decided to run to the bush of snake for refuge. They will happily welcome her with their venom. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so we need to do something to cover up our action. We have to return home and pretend nothing happened. Hmm? 
and none of you speaks when summoned. My mouth was sealed yesterday. <laughs> and I will say nothing to no one. Neither I. Let's hurry home. Ma? Ma? Where did you say Aku went to? She went to the village square for her dance rehearsals. And she's not yet back. She doesn't stay back after her dance rehearsals. Maybe she's at Norma or Ken's place helping them out with their, their chores. When has this waiting for her? Eh? That day is becoming something I can't explain these days. The other day she, she went out in the morning and returned very late. And that was because she escorted Juno and her mother to the farm. Come on, Michiano. Continue with your abyss. She will come back. Sorry. What happened? Where is Akudu? Nah. Where is your friend that went to dance rehearsal with you people? What exactly was it asking? Eh? Am I not talking to people? Mama, she, she, she ran away as we fought. Fought? Yes, Mama, that is why we're here. She went out and we came to see if she's back. They even told my clothes as we were fighting. Fought with who? What are you talking about? Say something now. What are you talking about? Who? who? I think I think their names are their names are Amaka, Chine, and Chika. Amaka. Chine. Hey. Did did you? I could do that. It's happened. It's happened. It has happened. What dream are you talking about? Hey. Eh? What dream is that? Mama, she, she, she had a dream that, and nobody told me about it. Eh? To her. Did anything happen to you? I, I saw her in the bush, so I helped her. On our way, she fainted, but, but I, think, I think she's she's fine now. Fainted? Yes. I come to. Sorry, thank you very much. <coughs> thank you so much. Hey. And we have called you a stranger, but you acted like your son. Thank you so much. Thank it's you very already much. Late. Why not stay here? Tomorrow morning you continue your journey. Huh? Um, no, no, I, I have to go. It's already late now. I think you should huh? stay back. Stay. Now. It's, it's, um, uh, it's, it's getting yeah. dark. You know, I can't. Nobody refuses any good of the night. Um.
sorry for the delay, my phone. I have some important thing to do than punish you for the delay. You may stand. Thank you, my queen. Thank you. Um, I have been working on this escape of the former queen. And I was made to understand that she didn't escape on her own. There was a help from somewhere. There was, my queen. There was or there is? Um, actually, my queen. We're made to believe that the one who helped her escaped is dead. Dead? Why? My queen. I don't know the reason. You say the woman helped her escape? Okay. I want you to summon all the women of this clan to this palace immediately. Okay? That is good. Now go. Yes, I'm surprised to hear that you want to meet me here. Yes, I know you will. I, but it's nothing to worry about. I came to let you know of my contributions towards bringing back your home. Oh, then go ahead. You have my full attention. Um, I spoke to some women of this clan. Yes. Concerning the disappearance of all lady, and I've sent the guard to summon all the women of this clan to this palace today mm -hmm. but what these few women told me wasn't impressed honestly i'm beginning to get fed up tired of this whole search don't get tired in way huh? if we find oledo we have found the children how optimistic are you <sighs> you talk as if you're not her husband do you think she will allow the children to go out of her sight? No. Let's just be patient. Hmm? It's me, Mama. I came to check on your daughter. Uh, uh, Akudo, the one you brought back the other day. Okay, is that her name? Yeah. Okay, how is she? Uh, she's okay now, but not at home. Maybe she has gone for her dancing rehearsal. Okay, okay. What about the other one? Uh, one Akiego. She went to the market to sell her bead. She's always making new beads which she sells in the market. Okay, okay. Um, okay, I'll be on my way. Let me not bother you. I see you're just coming from the market. Okay. I will tell them that you came. I didn't know you were going to keep your promise. 
Well, I did not promise, but I gave you my word. Besides, your voice brought me here. I don't understand. Ah, your voice, your voice, you... You sound like my mother. Your mother? Okay, so where is she? I'd like to see her. Um... Let's not talk about it. Um, there's something I have for you. Just to say thank you for what you did for Akuto. Okay, what is it? First of all, you have to close your eyes, then give me your hand. I, I should close my eyes and give you... Uh, okay, okay. No. Whoa! <laughs> okay, hope it won't hurt. Just relax, it won't hurt. I hope you like it. Whoa, whoa, what? It's beautiful. <laughs> Trust my sister. When it comes to beats, she's the best. You made this, right? I did. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Go and check if the food is ready. Mm. Go and check if the food okay. is ready. Mm. So, I hope you like it. It's really very nice. Thank you. And I'm glad you like it. Yes, I, I, I love it. It's nice. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, mm, Mama? In our clan, it's not right to talk as to eat. But I want to know if you like the food. Mm. Um, I like the food. It was well prepared. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's been a while I saw someone who has long beards and hair like yours. Um, I, I just like it like this. Mm. It looks like you're not from this clan. None of our boys will leave his head to grow as long as this. Um. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Drink, drink. Sorry. 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 I shouldn't have started it. Drink, drink, no, drink, drink. <coughs> sorry, sorry. So, drink the water now. Sorry. <laughs> I see you're done with your morning chores. Yes. No. Before I answer you, why are you waking up now when your mates are up and have gone to the farm? Well, if you were not the one who helped me when the Pepe got into my windpipe, <laughs> then I would have answered your question. Don't mind me. So, how are you feeling this morning? Mm, I'm fine. As you can see, I'm strong. You slept well? Yes. And you? Yeah, I did. So, what will you eat? What will you eat this morning so I can go prepare it for you? Okay, why don't we go prepare together? What? You and who? Me and you. <laughs> go away. You. Can you prepare a night fire and not stock of food? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. I was waiting for you to wake up so that I'll tell you that um, I'd like to go to your house and meet your parents. What do you think? That is if it's okay by you. Uh, uh, okay, all right, um, fine, fine, yes, but, but that'll be after the cooking. When we're done eating, then. Okay, yeah, no problem. All right. <laughs> Ako, you won't believe what we discovered. <laughs> I was told, but I doubted it. I saw what my two eyes cannot see. Ah, cool. We put what came when we to pour our rugged camado. Huh? I don't understand what you're saying. And besides, why are you speaking in in, in proverbs? Yeah? Why? Uh -uh. The bright price paid on your mother's head was it for fancy? So you need no explanation for this proverb. Wait, oh, I can sense something. 
I can sense something. What is wrong? Why are you people talking to me like this? Why? Ne, I say if what she know you is to talk to me. We are trying to warn you to stay out of trouble. Eh? Trouble. They say there is no smoke without fire. Mm -hmm. hmm? So you people should tell me the fire that you're carrying the smoke around. Tell me I want to hear, Ako. Don't pretend as if you don't know what we are talking about. The stranger that brought you back, I mean Obina, who is he? Oh, oh. oh haven't you heard he's not from this clan? Have you ever seen anybody from this clan that has that kind of peers and hairs? Hmm. Ne, please don't misunderstand us. Eh? Please, you have thanked that boy enough. That boy is evil. That boy is evil. He should go back from where he came from. Hmm. You see, go one. Ako, we are your friends, so you better listen to us. How can my name make you say it? Your sudden appearance will not move me anymore, okay? So tell me, what are you doing here? And who are you looking for? Listen, Akudo, your annoyance should be kept aside. I am keeping nothing aside. Do you hear me? I am not keeping anything aside because the cause of my annoyance is standing right here in front of me, staring me in the face, and I am not finding it very funny. Huh? Me? Yes, you! Now listen, you don't need to hide anything. Okay? Because I now know who you are. No wonder you refuse talking about your mother. No wonder you claimed Pepe entered your windpipe so you will not answer Mama's question. Oh God, I should have known that. I should have sensed it. Your hair, your beard, the sudden appearance at the forest of the snakes. So tell me, at least you owe me that, okay? Are you really human? I need to know. Um, you see, I I, I... I didn't mean to put fear in you or, or in... You should have told me for God's sake! You should have told me because I was almost beginning to drop oh, you! Oh, 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 it's okay, it's okay, just... Put your voice down. See, I don't know. Something is attracting me to you. And you are the only person that that I'm going to tell who I am. See, I I don't know. I, I, I don't even feel too good about this, but something in me is pushing me to do it. And I will do it. Okay, just just calm down and Sit down. Please, please, don't tell me this is where you stay. Like, this is where you stay. Because this is nowhere near a home, totless of a house. You don't even have a good mat that you sleep on. Just look at your mat. You're not serious, are you? No one can stay here. Well, this is where I stay. Yes, and I, no. I also have a little, little shelter over there where I sleep. Uh, this is so open. It's not safe. You're exposed to wild animals. Well, since I have been staying here for years now, no wild animal has come to disturb you. <sighs> you, you want to come take a look? Where? Just there. Where? My shelter. Ah, it's no. A, it's just here. It's not... No way. No. Here is just fine. It's fine. Huh? No, actually, it's very beautiful. It's fine. Uh, but. Did you just say years? Like, you've been staying here for years? Yes, I have been staying here for years. All alone? All alone, yes. No! Just me. 
No, I... I decided to come here after my mother died. So I can... So I can stay away from the wickedness of man. Now I get it. That was why you didn't want to talk about your mother. It's okay. I understand. No problem. You know... You know... Before my mother died... She gave me this. Each time I look at it, I... I remember my mother. I remember the, the good times we shared together. The wonderful times. I hold this dead. Anyway, I'm sure by now you are convinced that I am human. I never said you were not human. Uncomfortable? You you like it? Things won't stop happening in this clan. Or? What have happened and we did not hear of it? Ah, so both of you haven't heard that Akudo and Wakego are not from this clan. Tell me something. Hey! They are not from this clan. And they have been doing everything with us in this clan. Chine, yeah. how did you get to hear of this? This is an opportunity to drive them to wherever they may have come from. Mm. Now I know my suspicion is cleared. Just, just, just look at Akudo. Dancing more than our clown girls. Another girl, Wakego, making beats that beat ours. That is true. Chika, Chineye, we have to do something very fast before they know we have found out that they don't belong here. Yeah. This time, eh, both of them will not escape this. You know what? Let's go there. That she normally go to fetch fire and all for her. Let's go. What we want from her? What's <laughs> the <laughs> <Easy> question? <laughs> How else do you want us to tell you that we hate you? The other time we thought you were gone and you came back. Tell how this time we are not going to beat you or chase you. But what we have for you is going to hurt you very badly. Let me ask you do you think you and what you do? Our little of very. Tell me where is your father? Him and your mother are nowhere. A berry is just looking at all you people. You and Wakego do not belong here. Now the secret is only between us. Why not find your way back before all the clan get to hear of it? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> She's looking sad. <laughs> you have not started, my dear. Hm. Better pack your things in time. Eh, hey, please, before you leave this land, you better ask a berry how she picked you and Wakego up. <laughs> The earlier the better for you. Hmm? We did nothing to you. Brother, you did it to yourself. And then let's leave her, All these things you told me came from those girls.
I had to drop my firewood and I ran to this place just to tell you. Anyway, it's all right now. Huh? Since you're here now, they won't come here to disturb you. I'm here with you, okay? But their words still haunt me. Their words haunt me. You don't get it. They said I don't have a mother. They said I don't have a father. And then Ebel... Ebel... A woman that I've called mother all my life turns out to be someone who just picked Mwakego and I... Hope. Look, I, 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 I understand the way you feel. All right, but if you keep talking about this, the more pained you will be. Okay? You don't understand. Understand what? Huh? No, tell me. What do you want me to understand? That you, 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 you have someone you, you've always called mother and all of a sudden you realize she picked you up. So? Huh? No, tell me. Is that it? Oh. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. You don't know who I am. And take a look around this place. You know how many years I have been in this place all alone with nobody to call mother, nobody to love me, nothing. Just, just me, me. And you, you, you're lucky. You have a sister. to remind you of your lonely days, okay? If, if I've offended you with my problems, I am truly, truly sorry. Please. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't cry. Be sleeping while you're in my compound, my queen. You shouldn't be sorry. Sleep is a good thing. You should be happy it came to you. For many are seriously seeking for it, but couldn't see it. You may stand. Stand. My queen, thank you so much. Thank you. What has the poor woman done that, that the mighty, mighty queen of this clan came to? to her compound. I'll be glad to receive my punishment. You didn't do any grievous thing. But I noticed you were the only woman of this clan that didn't show up at the palace when I asked to see all the women. So I need you to tell me your reasons. If I am not the queen, that would be pardonable. Yeah. My queen, I will tell you everything. Okay. It's not in my queen. Listen, you are free to tell me whatever. I'm here to know the truth. You can talk to me now. My queen, I will come to the palace. I'll come to the palace and tell you. You will come to the palace? I will, my queen. My children. Forgive me for not telling you all this way. Your what? Please, please, please. Don't call us your children anymore. Do you hear me? Don't call us your children because they are not your children. No, 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 Akudo, no. just let her be. Don't take it to what? She, she's Calm not our down. mother. Let her explain. Mama, continue. If I had my own children, I wouldn't have come down to this clan. What? You're not even from this village. Hi. I'm not. My people used to treat widows. 
as they treat the outcast. Not to talk of a childless widow. Through the advice of a friend, I left. All these, all these things to me, you're just telling a very long story. That is not what we want to hear. We don't want to know what happened to you. Who are we? That is what we want to know. Where did you pick us from? Who are our parents? Ako, calm down. Hmm. I will tell you everything. I left my clan on a journey. When I was at the boundary of this clan, I saw you both holding hands. Akudo, you were crying. Wakego was consoling you. I had pity on you both. I walked up to you and helped you to sit. You both were hungry. I gave you my last food. After which, I asked you what happened. Wakego, you told me everything. I'm sorry for the way I talked to you. Mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. We promise you it won't happen again. Never. Never talk to you like that again. Please. Mama, please. <sighs> we are sorry. Please forgive us. Please. Please. <laughs> You, nobody will hear of this. You know, nobody. Please, now, for you, go no. And you just gonna stop crying. Go. You know, go won't do it again. So. So. Okay, I can't tell you to see my children. I bless you to me, Mama. I can't tell you to see my children. So it's okay. them no no i've seen this bead on someone that is not from this village and who might that be Obina. i've seen this bead on him Can we continue? Oh, my son, I'm dying. Okay, go. Yes, Mama. Take care of your brother, Obina, yes, and your sister, Akudu. You are the eldest. One day, your father 
will come looking for you. And I pray you're still alive. Mama, why are you talking like this now? I don't think I have time to stay with you again. Huh? I could do. Come. I could do. You shall live above your age, mate. Okay, go. Give me your hands. You shall be blessed with your endeavor. You shall be blessed. Be your good deeds shall reward you. Made this bridge for you, okay? Of your own. Make sure you keep it, okay? Of your own. Make sure you keep it, okay? Of your own. Okay? Keep it for yourself, okay? Okay, let us wait for him so that we will go together. Mother told me before she died that I should take care of him and you. Okay. Where is he? He's not coming back. Let us And when our father died, I became the Igwe. And here I am today. Igwe. Igwe. We never knew this part of your story. Igwe, forgive us. Yeah, sorry. Please. It's all right. Get up. You are forgiven. I understand. Stop. I take it that both of you have no jobs. Yes, Igwe. Yes, Igwe. And that's why we're jealous of you. Yes. I know. <laughs> well, my people, come to my palace tomorrow and I will provide you with jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Igwe! May you live long. You go live long, Igwe. May you live long, Igwe. Why? I don't get job. Make sure you stay out of trouble. Igwe! Don't get job. Your Highness, I am so, so proud of you. My dear. Our people should be treated the way we treat our loved ones. See, leadership is all about creating opportunities for the people. As I have learned from my rise from grass to grace. I will never forget you for the things you did for me. You gave your life that I will live to see another day. I can never repay you for the things you did for me. You pay the price that I will live to see another day. Mama.
when I didn't sleep, Mama go they watch me if I dey hungry. Mama go feed me if I dey vex. Mama go calm me if I dey cry. Mama go pet me where where where. Yeah. There can never be an They came to me with their beads, and we then discovered that we were brother and sisters. The reunion was filled with joy. We later met our father, the Igwe, and we started living in the palace as prince and princesses. There is nothing as joyful as the education of a family. Also, after several years of uh, the family being suppression to come together. You know, and I want to quote that it's not by human power, but it's by the gods. Okay. So my father has this kind of beautiful big house. Huh. That is so you've been enjoying here alone. Huh? That's, that's, that's not it, my dear. I'm, I'm really sorry to have abandoned you people, so to speak. Uh, for this number of years, but I promise to make it up to you. Are you sure, Dad? Certainly, I will. I am legally member. Whatever I pronounce is uh, the authority. Okay, but Dad, there is something we must do first. What could that be? We must celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> what would that be? What would that be? Um, right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yes, Dad. Our people believe in doing what is right, according to what you told me. Concerning that, Dad, um, there's something I've been thinking about, but I don't know how you will see. And what does that tell me? Dad, I... I want you to give Mom a befitting burial. Oh. Yes, that is all I want, Dad. You know, build a place where I can look at and remember her, you know. Like, remember her once again, not minding that she's been gone for quite a while. Do you realize that her remains are no more? Uh, yes, Dad, I, I know, I know, I know, but, you know, we can do it like a ceremonial burial, you know, like an anniversary celebration, just so that we can keep her keep mother in our minds that's all well I understand perfectly where you are driving at uh, but you see it's going to uh, bring about some sad memories and um, you as a young man I know that the last thing I wanted is to, to be your mother having said that you are my son my only son I have to be careful Otherwise, if I happen to go, who we'll take over from me? So if anything at all, I have to make sure I discuss with the system. I wouldn't want to sacrifice you on, you know, in, 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 their, in, in their own interests. Okay, so what you're saying that is that if Akudo and Wakego are okay with the idea then? Essentially, okay. Essentially. Some people are really enjoying in this life. Why do you say that? Look at this whole place. Eh? Look at how big and beautiful it is. Do you think it's everybody that will be as lucky as both of us? Eh? <sighs> well, it is those who have royal blood flowing through their veins that enjoy things like this. The peasants are left to suffer. So, Honestly, and it's because they enjoy so much. That's why they don't understand what those peasants out there are, co are going through Well, if you ask me, I believe the rich and the poor were made to coexist together The rich helping the poor, the poor helping the poor, just like that Igbo adage we know says That only exists in Papa's life oh. Do you know that all these wealthy men in this place, it does not exist in their lives at all? Because Papa is very generous and he's, he, he doesn't hesitate to help whenever the need to help someone arises. 
That is true. If everybody would just be like Papa and you know act like him, this clan would be a better place. So sure, you know. I agree with you. I agree with you. See, when I become the queen, eh, I'll be going to visit all these poor people. I'll be going to every poor man's home on every ceremonial day. Are and when I'm going, sure? see you. When I'm going, I'll pack plenty of things: food, though, I uh, uh, drink, so money, everything you can name. Are you sure? See you. Shouldn't be there now. That time you'll be hailing me. You'll be the one. Me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I'll do it. I'll do it because those people are suffering. We're here, we're waiting, we're watching. Mm -hmm. Better said than done. I know how they suffer, so don't no, worry. I'll do it. And so I gave him the option of doing as he requested, only for his sisters would agree. Mm. I think your decision was good. Yes, your decision was very good. You decided like the wise king you were. Did I? Yeah. I did. Yes, you did. So can we now go back to sleep? Yes. Okay. Obina. Oh, I know how much you missed your mother. Yes. It is very difficult to forget the death of a mother. And I know it's the reason you asked the Igwe to build a place for her remembrance. To me, it's not a bad thing. I supported you when he came up with the discussion. I know the look is, why am I doing this? Yes, there is no other reason. I don't want you to get hurt again. Have you forgotten that you are going to be the next Igwe? Oh, you... You made me very excited by what you just said. I don't know. Yes, and... I'm actually starting to have a rethink about what I had in mind. You are a nice woman. Thank you very much. Thank you. But what is it that you now have double mind about? Well, initially my fear was whether you will accept us as your children. But right now I think I'm starting to erase that fact. <laughs> You are very, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that I'm funny, my queen. You know, not all women have the kind of hearts you have. A nice heart. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.
my prince my prince please you need to go to bed go, go to bed and do what huh tell me go to bed and do what sleep do you even know the meaning of that word sleep tell me let me ask you this where is your mother my prince she's living in this corner that is why you don't know what it means to lose a mother a dear one at that someone who gave me life Someone who gave bread to me is no more. And you expect me to, to go to bed? My prince, you won't mourn her forever. Others are sleeping. Then let them sleep. Let them sleep. I am not them and I can never be them. Alright? Look, this discussion is over. I just, just go. Uh, my prince, you... Listen, if you complete that statement, you will be out of this palace by tomorrow morning. Just get out. Go. Just go. Tell me, how have you been faring? Don't hide anything away from me. If you're not comfortable, let me know. Igwe, since we started as your guards, we're okay. We're okay. We've not lacked anything, including food and other things. We're okay. Well, there is still some hesitation in your voice. I repeat, if you are not comfortable if you think there is anything you lack let me know just tell me if we, you have made sure that we don't lack anything that we don't complain but it's just that the money we have paid is no more uh, enough to sit our eyes in it don't not that we are complaining no <laughs> i see i you don't i don't know your fears not to worry and the salaries will increase, will increase in due course, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> with you. May your days be extended, sir. Um, as you leave, tell my mother my family to meet me in the in this room immediately. Okay? Thank you, sir. You are uh, surprised as to for the reason for calling this meeting. But I want to be discarded from your mind because whatever you think may not be why I called you. Daddy, I'm beginning to wonder what is this thing that you've been hiding all along? No, 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 it's not as if I'm hiding anything, my dear. It's just that there's this uh, popular saying that a package, a parcel that needs to be opened uh, normally, officially. It should, should not be pierced to by, by any means. <laughs> Daddy, please, like, um, <laughs> just let us, just sleep out. Well, um, in view of the experiences we have uh, shared over the years, I thought I should begin now to make amends, you know, making it up to you people like I promised. Uh, but I'm thinking of uh, planning a trip for you outside the shell of this country. And possibly to South America.
I just know we're fine. I just know. Father, I'm not sure if what I'm about to tell you will go down well with you, but all the same, I have to say it. Father, it's about the visa you shared this afternoon. At first, I was overjoyed, and then I went into my room and thought about it, and I don't know, Father, I, I, I think I've changed my mind. Are you re rejecting the visa? No, 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 Father, I'm not rejecting the visa. It's just that, like I told you, I've thought about it, and I think there are more important things for me to do here than going over there to spend three weeks in South America. Can you highlight some of the important things you're talking about? Father, I am your son, and I am meant to take over from you when you're no more. But. I can lift my head high and be proud to say that I know all the communities in this clan, let alone the activities of our people. I mean, if anything happens right now and the leadership falls on me, I, Father, I will be found wanting, and I know the people will laugh at me. Father, please, understand my reason for rejecting your, your offer to travel, please. Well, son, you have shown uh, enough wisdom and accepted wisdom. That means you'll travel on another date. Okay. Thank you. I know you didn't close your eyes yesterday. Talk more of sleeping in your room. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I slept last night. I just came here this morning. Could your being here be the reason you didn't travel with your sisters yesterday? I'm sorry I cannot discuss that with you. I'd like to leave now if you don't mind. Obinna, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry. Obinna! The way Obina passed me showed that he was not in the best of mood. I hope you did not exchange words with him. Instead of being surprised that he is still in this palace, while he's supposed to be somewhere in South America, you are here asking questions. <laughs> Why the smile? It's like both of you are up to something best known to you. Well, my queen, I would ask you to calm down and. Uh, uh, take it easy. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about, about it. You see, until recently, I never knew that Obin had uh, become a man. In fact, I'm beginning to like him as my son. The heir apparent to my throne. You still haven't told me anything. You see, the visa he was supposed to travel to the white man's land, the way he rejected it still baffles me. Anyway, I don't have a problem with that. I do not, uh, am I worried because um, he has proven to be. Um, Capable of taking my place, as I'm no longer there. Igwe, all you've said is still confusing me. I don't understand. A test and he passed. Well, I wanted to know the level of his reasoning, and he didn't fall for it anyway. Um, I'm sorry, anyway, for not telling you before executing this intention. My prince, it's not it. Okay, so if it's not it, tell me what it is. Okay, okay. How many years have you been in this clan? I was born here, my prince. Since then, I've not left. Oh, huh. so how come you don't know everywhere in the clan? My prince, it's difficult to know all the places, no matter what. Oh. I bet you I know 
almost all the places in this town. Okay, fine. Let's analyze it. What percentage do you know? My prince, that one is high. Please, bring it down. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll break it down for you. The places you know, one side. Places you don't know, here. Which one is higher? The places I know, of course, my prince. Are you sure? Yes, my prince. Very sure? Yes. All right, fine. Because why I'm asking is that I wouldn't want to get lost if we are walking together tomorrow. Um, my prince, it's like you want to go around the clan. Yes, I want to go around the clan. So you better go and do a very good surveillance before tomorrow. I bet you, my prince, will not get lost. Ah. All right, fine. If you say so. I'm sure you know what will happen to you. <laughs> Is there anything happening at the square today? Why do you ask, my friends? Because we've been on this road for quite a while now and I've not, I've not seen anybody. Or have you? I haven't seen. Oh, one is walking down. Oh. Oh. His face is... His face is familiar. Good afternoon, my friends. Is anything wrong with your knees? Oh, sorry. It's all right. No, 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 no. You don't have to do that. Get up, get up. Oh. I see you are a farmer. Yes, my prince. I I want to get cassava. I'm actually cutting cassava. Okay. Uh, at your house? Yes, my prince. All right. Okay. I, I wouldn't mind. It. But my prince, the boy is a low class. You got nothing to do with him. You know, I know you. Yeah, I, I just can't place it, but I think we've met before. Yes, we've met before. So tell me, where and when? At the place where they prepared the grave for your mother. Aha! I said it, I said it. I knew, I knew. Wait. You're the one who placed the cowries by the graveside, right? You. Yes. That was the one. Those cowries belong to your mother. Huh? My mother. Is there something you're not telling me? Your mother gave them to me when I was small. She couldn't use them before she died. So when I heard a grave was being prepared for her, I had nothing. I remembered the cowries, so I decided to bring them back. Wait, you... You knew my mother? I've been wanting to speak to you since. Did I surprise you? I saw you sitting alone and I decided to come and speak to you before you are out again. Because you are always out these days. Well, thanks for the observation. Can you go straight to the point, please? I know you are annoyed about the way I spoke to you the other day. Put yourself in my shoe. You will feel the same way I felt. Anyway, that aside, I've forgotten about it. I, I don't know if you have. Well, I accept your apologies, my queen. I didn't mean to speak to you that way either. It's just that any time any issue about my mother is brought up, it, it rekindles my anger. Now I've known, I will try as much as possible not to rekindle it again, okay? I will appreciate that. If you don't mind, I would like to be left alone. Obina, if I were to tell you that I gave your father the idea of purchasing that car for you, what would be your reaction? Anyway, take care of yourself.
Chris, what are all these for? Why don't you wait till everything is complete? Then I'll tell you. All right, now that we have everything here, I will tell you. The rice and the yam tubers are for your consumption. And in there are some clothes for you. What? Any problem with that? No, no, my prince. It's just that I didn't, I didn't ask for them. Well, I know, I know, I know. You see, a friend who waits to be asked to do something for a friend when he knows that that friend is in need, he isn't a good friend. Thank you very much, my friends. You really showered me with a lot of care. You're welcome. I see you are actually on your way to the farm. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay. Um, hope you don't mind if I join you. My friends, you want to accompany me to the farm? <laughs> well... Well, my prince, it's okay. It's, it's, my, it's my pleasure, trust me. That's if actually you want to follow me to the farm. Of course I want to. It's, I think it's just down the road. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, it's all right. But before we go, I think you should move these things inside. So apart from farming, what else do you like doing? Um, birds. I love them when they sing their early morning songs. Yeah. And I also love being in the company of caring people like you. Yeah. So the way you treat me, one who doesn't know you are a royal blood and I'm not will think we are brothers. I just hope one day I'll be able to repay you. Uh huh. Well, don't even go there. Just don't go there. <laughs> what makes you think you can repay me? I'm sorry, my prince, but you ask too much questions. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, don't forget that I am your prince, and my questions must be answered, and you will obey me. I'm sorry. Father, I know you're not happy about my not being in the palace recently. My annoyance is not only that you're not in the palace, but you locked up with someone with an orphan that has nothing to offer you whatsoever. Father, Father, that my spirits are no more doesn't make him an abandoned person that nobody should associate with. Oh, I agree. But remember, you're a prince in this plan. Huh? That matters very, very much. As you look your loud voice. Is there anything that is not right? Ask him. I know you are annoyed. Please calm down. Ubina, what did you do that got your father angry? I didn't do anything. He got reports about my association with someone and he is not happy about it. He asked me to stop. That's all. I didn't do anything.
Makedo, Akundo, other indigenous of this clan feel the loss of your great king. You are the cause. You are the See how you are putting this confusion in this yeah, yeah. Even you are. Yeah. Two of you. Yeah. Two of you. Two when you know the one that's telling you that you have seen the source of bringing the power back. No, 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 no. You people are the problem. But why should you be that? Why should you be not the one that caused the problem? Yeah, well, you, uh, where are you not? Uh, you wait. Tell you yet. Who is it? Yes. <laughs> you were there. Why you don't you say that? You were there. You were just not there. You. You see you. Yeah. That this palace has problem is what of you. So I didn't say that. You know. When you're not. When you're the cat. I say quiet. When you're I want to have your undivided attention. <laughs> Let me formally introduce myself to you all. I am Igwe Ochoba. He has a Your king. From today. Okay, now I am. You're not going don't you ever dream of? In fact, you can never be a Uyghur. No, Who are you? Who are you? I am Anne. Anne. I am Anne. That owes you. Anne. Yes. You and your family are ostracized from this clan forever. And my name is And my name is Anne. Guys. Finish him. I am Igwe Ochoba. Your king. Your king. Your king. I am Chief Ochoba the Igwe. You are Igwe. Falling down like a rain from the skies
my prince. My prince. Since we've been walking to this place, you've not altered a word. I even smiled. My prince, I know you very well. If everything were to be alright, you should be asking me questions on how things are going. Please, can you tell me about it? Nandi, I'm bothered about what my father told me. And it's not something that every ear needs to hear. My prince, I understand, is a real problem. And you're scared I might go let it out to some other people. No, no, no. It, it's not that. It's not that. I, I think I trust you. I, I don't think you do that. But <sighs> Namdi, the great calamity is about to befall this land. Yes. It was revealed to my father in his dream. See, my father woke me up this morning before the cock crow. And he told me everything about it. It was a bad dream and... I don't know, it's... It's been bugging me. My prince, whatever it is your father told you about his dream should be taken very seriously. It shouldn't be seen as a mere dream. You think so? I know so, my prince. You see, if you're going to a particular place and you strike your feet more than once, there's something bad on the way. Yes. So whatever it is your father told you, you should be taken very seriously. There is something bad on the way. Yes, Nandi. Um, sorry you were denied entrance. Please bear with me. I'm, I'm really sorry about it. Oh, my prince, you don't need to beg me, my prince. You see, I'm a low class and I know. My kind don't enter the palace. I'm even privileged I'm standing here with you. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to say that, please. Don't say that. See, you have a good heart. Yes, and I appreciate it. If everyone in this clan, in fact, if everyone in this world would have the kind of heart you have, a lot of bad things would not be happening. Thank you very much, my prince. Uh, uh, my prince, you remember some time ago you said a friend who sees a friend in need and waits to be asked to help is not a good friend. Yes, I think I remember saying that. My prince, I want to help your father if you will permit me to do so. Huh? You want to help my father? As in, to interpret the dream? Yes, my prince. Nandi. My prince. You never told me you had the gift of interpreting dreams. My prince, it's because you never asked. Really? No, wait, wait, you mean, seriously, you, you have it? Yes, my prince. Oh. Oh, wow, wow, that's, that's nice. That's wonderful. I, I don't even know what to say. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, I'll, um, I'll talk to my father about it. Yes, I'm sure he will invite you to the palace. It will be my great pleasure, my prince. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, once again, sorry for the... Oh, no, no, I understand. Thank you. A friend of mine came to see me, and he was denied entrance, so I went to fix it. Oh, that is not good to hear. A prince denied the freedom of receiving his visitors in the palace. But that wouldn't have happened ordinarily. Something prompted it. Of course. This whole low, high-class thing in the clan, that is exactly what prompted it. <laughs> oh, now I see. And this friend of yours must be the person the Igwe warned you to stop saying, isn't it? Yes, he's the one. And I hope you're not trying to persuade me to stop saying him, because I can't. He is my friend. No. Obina, no. Sit down, let's talk. Sit down, Obina. Hmm? Sit down so we can talk. Listen, Obina. 
I'm on your side. I'm not scolding you. Rather, I want you to know that the Igwe is infringing on your right of freedom. I've always wanted your happiness. Anything that can bring happiness to you, I will do it, Robina. I will talk to Igwe on your behalf and he will allow you to receive your visitors here. After all, you are the prince of this clan. So I see no reason why they shouldn't allow you to receive your visitors in the palace. Hmm? I will talk to him. No matter the class, you are going to receive them here. Okay? Thank you, my queen. Thank you. No more water. Nandi! 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 My son! Open your inner eyes and you see me standing by your side, my son. Mama, this is you. Oh, Mama, I'm so happy to see you again. My son, I'm happy to see you now, Emma. Your kind heart and the favor you found with the prince of this clan, together. His goodness to you and your association with him permitted me to come and give you the information that is ahead. Well, Mama, Ubina is such a nice person. He has made me not to be lonely again. That is why I have gone to help him out with his father's dream. Hmm. That is exactly what brought me to you. What is ahead of you is not a small one. What you are about doing is not easy. There are many things involved. Mama, is there anything wrong with helping the way? But you have to know something before telling the Igwe the meaning of his dream. Go home now. Somebody is waiting for you. I have to leave now, my son. Mama! Mama, where are you? Come on, come and tell me more. Oh, Mama, where are you now? You spoke to your mother on your way home. And I know both of you were happy seeing each other. Um, I want you to know that your good deeds are recorded. Your gift, which you want to use to help Igwe, cannot be effective if you don't know the secret I'm here to reveal to you. Sorry. How come you know a lot about me? Look at the way you're telling me things I want to do. It is only Obina. I'm my mother that knows about my dream interpretation ability. <laughs> Your world and mine are not the same. I know a lot that have happened, and a lot that are yet to happen. By the way, why do you waste time before you told me not that you can interpret dreams? It's because of the way they treat me and people of my kind. But I remembered what you told me, and what my mother made me understand. And I went to him. You see, that's your human nature. Do you know that you hold the key to the destruction of this land? But you choose not to turn the key to destruction by going to Igwe to interpret his dreams. I love my clan. Not minding the way they treat me and my kind. You love your clan. Finish your food. What I'm about to tell you happened during the time of the late Igwe, who gave birth to the present one. By that time, the loss of the clan was very strange. In every single festival, people will be buried alive as a sacrifice to the festival. Even here we are staying, a young girl of 16 years was buried alive as a transformation to Igwe's sick daughter. The girl cried aloud and shed tears. Her parents shed tears because the girl was the only property they had. Even the native doctor who was to make the sacrifice warned the Igwe against the consequences because the girl was still a virgin who needed to fulfill her destiny. But Igwe said, let the consequences be on his head and that of his children's children. 
Igwe said that what needed to be done, needed to be done. On the day of the sacrifice, the girl cried aloud and shed tears. They talked to no other. She said that she's going to come back. That when she come back, that the land will be disastrous. Now that the ego has died, the consequences he placed on the head of his children's children continued? Yes, it continued. In the realm of the last Igwe, the father to the present Igwe, nothing happened and nobody remembered the commitments done earlier. After the reign of this present Igwe, what becomes of the consequences? Consequences will be lifted and that is the reason the girl that was sacrificed alive want to fulfill her promise before the consequences is lifted. Wait. Are you telling me the girl is still coming back to commit all those atrocities you told me in the bush? <laughs> How are you sure that she is not in your midst right now? How are you sure that she has not started setting her plans of attack? See, I don't have answers to these questions. You are the one who sees what happened before, what is happening, and is what's going to happen. So give me answers. Tell me. Well, the dream you are about to tell the meaning should go a long way to make you understand where I'm going. Your mother has no ability to come back to the land of the living. But I can. That is why he pleaded me to come and tell you this before you do anything. Thank you very much for coming to let me know things I did not know. The gods will reward you. But you see, you've already told me... I already know what you're about saying. I have told you the whole problem and how it started. But I did not tell you the solution to it. In the world beyond, everything is done accordingly. It is not disorganized. I was sent to tell you what I have told you and my part is finished. Are you, are you saying you are, you are leaving without telling me what I will do to stop the ugly situation? If you're actually leaving, then what's the point? Why did you come to tell? I mean, what's the need? You humans are impatient. Am I true with what I was saying before you say your mind? I, I'm sorry. I hope I did not get you annoyed. We don't get annoyed easily. I have told you what your late mother told me to tell you. The prince will be here in the morning. Yes. For your powers to be more effective, always use this. Always make use of it at any time you are about to leave. My son, I am happy that you have known that which was revealed to you this afternoon. I want you to know that the Virgin reincarnated and she is among the living now, unknown to nobody. Nandi, the God has blessed you with understanding and I want you to use it for the good of this clan. I wouldn't have been here directing you. If not that you started before your destined time, so that you could stop the revenge of the Virgin. I know that when you visit the Igwe, he will stop putting blame on others. Nandi, make sure the way you feel about Obina does not change. He needs you and you need him. In order for you to stop the Virgin from destroying this clan. Nandi, do not wake up for you are tired. I'll be leaving now.
Prince. Nandi. My Prince. Where have you been? I've been looking for you since yesterday. I told my father that you can interpret the dream. He, he sent for you and I, I couldn't find you. Tell me, can't you interpret the dream anymore? My Prince, a lot of things have happened. That made me not to be in the house, but it's all over now. Okay, all right, fine. So you can still tell me the meaning of the dream, right? Yes. Namdi, please, listen. My father is very ill. All right? As a friend, help me. Please, help me save him. I'll help your father. He will not die. Only if you do as I say. No, anything. Whatever you want, I'll do it. Provided my father gets back to his feet, okay? Where is your father now? Is he at the palace? Because I was not coming there before you arrived. Of course he's at the palace. He's ill, so he, he can't go anywhere else. My friends, I don't want to be a slave. For everything, it's not as it seems to be. Let's go. My car is over I am so happy to be seated here in the palace. This is something I never knew would come to reality in my lifetime. Thank you very much, Igwe. Your son told me about your dream, which is the consequence your grandfather laid on you in his own time when a virgin was sacrificed for his daughter's ill health. In your dream, where you were held captive means your death. The taking over of the leadership by Ochoba and the destruction of the clan will take place after you are dead. Your coming back to see the clan destroyed is a journey you will make from the land of the dead. But Igwe, let your heart not be troubled, for it is only death that has no remedy. I will find the remedy to this bad happening and put it to a stop. But you have to promise me one thing. <laughs> Nandi, as you can see, my father is ill. I know he will do anything, whatever you want. Just ask and you shall have it. As long as you will help us from, from this impending doom. Well, let us not worry about that for now. Let us try, first of all, to prevent this bad dream from coming to reality. My suspicion is correct. You are coming from the palace. Yes, my queen. Good day, my queen. Hold back your greetings. I'm not receiving it. Now tell me, who did you go in there to see? I know my husband, the king, wouldn't invite you. Neither are you one of the elders. I went to see the prince. The prince? Yes, my queen. Oh, I see. Is it the prince of this clan or the prince of your class? My queen. Don't, 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 don't use that word on me. I am not your queen. Say whatever you want to say. Well, I, I am just a friend to the prince. Nothing else. Oh, now I understand. You are the friend the Igwe have been warning him to desist from seeing, and he defied the Igwe because of his health condition. I'm just trying to help him. Help? How can a stink of your type help the strong and mighty? <laughs> the wise is being spoken to once. That is, if you are near to being wise. God, get me my purse. Mama, you heard everything she said, and you're telling me everything will be all right soon? But you told the prince not to be led astray by what he said. 
for everything is not the way it seems to be. Yes, I told him before we met the king, but that has nothing to do with what the queen just did. Oh no, my son. It has everything to do with the queen. Everything you're looking for lies with the queen. I don't understand. Yes. Do you still remember what the stranger showed you and the story he told you about her? Yes, I remember. And did you see the anger in the queen when you went to see her? Yes. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that the queen is the reincarnate of the virgin. You said that and she'll be striking by night falls. You have to act fast. And now. Now. Yes, I, I got you an urgent message for me to come here. Is everything all right? Is, is there anything wrong? Yes, you have to calm down. Oh, don't, don't give me that. What do you mean I should calm down? You send a message for me to come here, then I'm here, and you're telling me to calm down. What's wrong? Okay. It's about what is before us. And we must have to do something before night falls else. First is the calamity. Can you just come out straight and tell me what you want us to do? Please. The Virgin Internet is very angry. Here tonight might be the night she was trying. Huh? Strike? When I was coming back from the palace after meeting with the father, I met the queen. She showed so much anger, which makes her say a lot of bad things. Yes, uh, a few minutes ago she even showed us this animosity over a trivial issue, and I. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't... Are you trying to say that the virgin incarnate is queenology? My prince, I doubted it at first. Who she is? Hereby being held in very high esteem. For the role you played in averting what would have turned out to be the most terrible disaster of his clan, the destruction of his clan. I think we should thank the gods for making someone like you available in the generation. You have indeed demonstrated that you are a true son of this clan. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Iwe. But you shouldn't thank me because I have nobody to receive your thanks. Uh-uh. Uh, from now onwards, don't say that. Did you hear me? Don't. Uh, Father, don't you think that Namde deserves to be truly appreciated for what he did? Of course you should. Namde, just go ahead and name whatever you, you, you want to the hearing of everybody here. And um, make sure you have it. Because without you, I wouldn't be alive today. Uh, thank you very much, Iwe, for the offer for me to say what I want. Uh, Iwe, I want you to make everybody equal. I want all of us to be equal. Just that? Yes, Iwe, uh, if you do that, I, I will be satisfied. Yes, in the next meeting with the elders, I'll make sure that all of us are equal. Um, Obina did tell me that you don't have a good home and the only farm to sustain yourself. I'm going to build you a very, very good house and make you comfortable in life. <laughs> Thank you very much, Igwe. Thank you. Let's stop. stop. Thank, you. Thank you, my friend. Stop. Stop. <laughs> 
So finally, I get to meet the hero of our clan. I really appreciate your praise. Thank you. Thank you. It's very brave indeed. And I'll advise you to use your special gift just to help people. Thank you. Now they already know that, don't you? Yes, your highness. I do, I know that. Uh, Princess of our clan, thank you very much. I heard what you said and I promise you I'm going to do as you said. Okay, let us call out all the formalities and get to the main issue why Nandi is here today. So what you're trying to say is that we, we're not just saying thank you to Namdi. There's something else you have in store, something personal maybe? Well, yeah, something like that. I have my personal reasons for having him here today. Oh, okay. So we're curious. Why don't you tell us what that personal reason is? Okay, you see, I've spent quite some time with him. And I've come to realize that he is... A special person, a true friend, a very nice guy. So because of that, I would like to make him my personal advisor in front of you all today. Yes. Thank you very much. Nandi, you must be a very, very lucky human being. Nandi, you'll be by my right hand side always. Well, <laughs> all I have to say is just don't over-label him. <laughs> yes. Take it. <laughs> Uh, you took that out of my heart. Take it easy. Yes, Dad. For his first assignment, I would like him to be by my side on the day of my introduction to the elders. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, I, I'm really honored. Dad, I can't believe all these things happened when we traveled. It did. That's the kind of world we live in. God. I still can't believe that Kwanoluchi is not real. I mean, after all these years we've spent with her, it's still very surprising to me, honestly. Okay, you need to understand that everything is not the way it seems. Yeah, I better understand the flow. Um, all that glitter is not gold. I, I'm just so grateful to Namdi, I don't know. And I, I, I just wish I could see him. Well, that wouldn't be a problem. He's my friend. He comes to the palace all the time. Really? That's good. You know, all these things you're saying is still surprising. Honestly, I just cannot digest it. I never used to believe in reincarnation, but obviously I was wrong. Well, my daughter, I will advise you to see a surprise for all that is in the past, man. Thank God nothing happened to that. Thank God nothing happened to that. It wouldn't have been easy at all. It would be just. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been easy at all. It would have been a great loss. Please don't even think about it. Don't say that again. I don't even want to think about it. Elders of our clan, I greet you all. Eve. History is about being mates. Uh, because at uh, this time, some 30 years ago, my father introduced me to his kinsman. So, I will be introducing my son, the Igwe to be, the heir to my throne, because he attained the age of 30 years today. <laughs> I haven't said that, I will allow him a few words. <clears throat> Elders of our great community, I greet you all. Please accept my greetings today. Today being the 30th day, making it the 30th year of my life. I am pleased to be presented to you all. And I promise to follow the footsteps. I mean, the great footsteps of my father. Well, what I generally said that Don, I hope you keep their promise. I will, Father. I hope you now. We also pray that you won't fail us. But if you are to be faced with a very big problem in the climb, and Igwe, your father, is dead. Igwe is still alive. But you are preparing a befitting burial for him. Which one 
will you first attend before the other? <laughs> Ichiro, that's, that's a nice question. <sighs> well, Ichiro, I have the interest of my people at heart. Likewise, my father. But the burial of the dead can always wait while I attend to the problems of my people. You are the true son of your father. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> And when our father died, I became the Igwe. And here I am today. Igwe. Igwe. We never knew this part of your story. Igwe, Igwe. forgive us. Yeah, sorry. Please. It's all right. Get up. You are forgiven. I understand. Stop. I take it that both of you have no jobs. Yes, Igwe. Yes, Igwe. And that's why we're jealous of you. Yes. I know. Well, my people. Come to my palace tomorrow, and I will provide you with jobs. Igwe! <laughs> May you live long. You can live long, Igwe. May you live long, Igwe. Fine. Don't get job. Make sure you stay out of trouble. Hey, Igwe! Don't get job. I am so, so proud of you. My dear, our people should be treated the way we treat our loved ones. See, leadership is all about creating opportunities for the people. As I have learned from my rise from grass to grace. <laughs> the skies sorrow takes over the air and blood running through like a flood through the banks horror is up in the air we've got nowhere to run we've got nowhere to hide so we matching on we've got nothing to give we've got nothing to take Whoa, 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 hey, mama, hey. 